Indian singles shuttler Kento Momota has announced his retirement from international badminton. <laughs> 今月の国別対抗戦トマスカップを最後に日本代表を引退すると発表しました。I learned a lot of lessons from him. I mean, at that time when we played together, a really talented and amazing player and a great guy. And I've always learned a lot from playing against him. At 19, he stepped onto the international stage, but banned at the age of 22 due to going astray. At 23, he reached his peak. Two years later, a car accident took everything from him. At 27, he was at his lowest point. After serving the Japanese national team for over 10 years, Kento Momoda chose to retire from the national team at 29, ending his international career. How did he make this decision after facing a series of setbacks? Let's pick up where we left off and walk you through the final chapter of Kento Momoda's journey. In November 2023, after a three-month absence from the international stage, Kento Momoda broke his two-year title drought by defeating his teammate Koki Watanabe in two straight games in the final of the Korea Masters. This victory brought a genuine sense of joy to Kento Momoda's face. After a long period of struggle, Momoda's name once again became a focal point in badminton world. When asked about his current mindset after the match, this is what he said. Two days later, at the Japan Masters held in Kumamoto, The world ranked 41st, Momoda started from the qualifiers. Continuing his winning form from the previous week, Momoda won two qualifying matches and then narrowly defeated the eighth seed from Singapore, Lo Kan Yu, followed by a victory over Denmark's Rasmus Gem. His desire to win on the court became even more evident with the support of local fans. Although he was defeated by China's Shi Yuki in the quarterfinals, ending his run in the tournament, these matches undoubtedly boosted his confidence. As December drew to a close and people prepared to welcome the new year, Momoda faced his final challenge of 2023 at the All Japan Championships. In the final, he defeated Koki Watanabe to claim his sixth title. After the match, he remarked that his chances of competing in the Paris Olympics were slim. But regardless of the outcome, his badminton career would not end. He promised to give his all in every match he participates in. 
In this process, from previously stating that he couldn't find joy in playing badminton to now thoroughly enjoying it, the mindset of Kento Momoda has clearly changed. What kind of attitude will he show his fans? And what will he convey to them? As 2024 arrives, it has been four years since that traffic accident, and now it's the year of the Olympics. Kento Momoda faces one of the most important decisions of his athletic career. In January, the Nippon Badminton Association announced the Japanese national team roster for 2024, and amidst ongoing controversy, Kento Momoda was once again selected for the A team. Just a few days before the roster announcement, Kento Momoda gave an interview to a Japanese media outlet. For the first time, he candidly shared his feelings about his 10 years badminton career and mentioned thoughts about retirement for the first time. Regarding his past suspension and the traffic accident, Kento Momoda expressed his regret and helplessness as fate's arrangement. In the interview, Momota mentioned that his persistence during difficult times was due to his lifelong love for challenges and the support and encouragement from his family. However, his current major concern is his back injury. In 2023, he missed several international tournaments due to worsening symptoms of a herniated disc. When asked about retirement, he admitted that deciding when to quit is very difficult. He might suddenly choose to retire when he can no longer find goals as a player. As he approaches his 30th birthday, Kento Momoda is also seriously contemplating his future after hang up his boots. The new year, which was supposed to be highly anticipated for Kento Momoda, did not start well in 2024. He first failed to qualify for the main event of the Malaysia Open, then withdrew from the India Open and subsequently lost to Wang Yukai of Chinese Taipei in the qualifiers of the Indonesia Masters. At this moment, his path to the Olympics has become increasingly distant. However, Kento Momoda soon faced a new challenge. In February, Momoda represented Japan in the 2024 Asian Badminton Team Championships held in Malaysia. Due to his world ranking, he could only compete as the third men's singles player. It was precisely as the third singles player that he played a crucial role in the team competition. In the quarterfinals against India, the teams were tied 2-2. Japan, represented by Kento Momota. In the deciding match against Srikanth Kadambi, despite trailing 12-19, Kento Momota staged an extraordinary comeback to win the match. In this come-from-behind victory, Kento Momoda demonstrated a tenacious spirit showcasing his determination and perseverance to rise up and fight back regardless of the adversity he faced. While athletes from around the world are working hard to qualify for the Paris Olympics, Kento Momoda suddenly announced his withdrawal from the Super 300 Swiss Open and will not participate in the other six European tournaments. Momoda's Olympic ranking has stayed at 47th place, making him the sixth ranked Japanese men's singles player. By withdrawing from these six tournaments, Momoda's chances of participating in the Olympics are gone. Olympic 
中で、なんていうんですかね、まあ、それでも僕はバドミントンが好きなので、これからも続けていきたいと思いますし。While enduring long term physical injuries, multiple first round exits, and missing the Olympics, Kento Momoda has tried repeatedly to rise from the bottom. However, his mind and body have always conflicted with his will. While everyone was speculating about Kento Moda's thoughts, he made a decision that brought him relief. Thank you very much. I'm going to be a NTT East Nippon Co-host of Yamamoto. どうぞよろしくお願いします、えー、今月末の、えー、トマス杯を最後に、えー、日本代表引退を決意したこのタイミングで、えー、自分の口から、えー、感謝の気持ちを、えー、伝えたいと思いこのような場を設けさせていただきました Just one week before the start of the Thomas and Uber Cup held in Chengdu Kento Momoda suddenly held a press conference on April 18 Announcing his decision to retire from international competition after the tournament. Ten years ago, he helped Japan historically lift the Thomas Cup for the first time. Ten years later, Kento Momoda also chose the Thomas Cup as his final performance on the international stage. This time, also playing as Japan's third singles player. Both his teammates and fans from around the world eagerly awaited Kento Momoda's appearance. In the group stage, he won all three matches, helping Japan reach the quarterfinals. Kento Momoda has got his win. It's three out of three. During these matches, he enjoyed every moment turning the badminton court into his stage. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't think I've seen the motor like that before. I don't think I've seen him ever so animated. Great hopes for the future. A very talented junior player he was. He got that big injury. He was out for nine months. He's just coming back. He's only yeah, played. Right. Court invasion. There it is. And Malaysia yeah. are through to their first Thomas Cup semi final. However, as Japan's third singles player, Kento Momoda did not get the chance to replicate his heroic performance from the Asian Team Championships, as Japan fell 1-3 to Malaysia in the quarterfinals of the knockout stage. It also marks the end of the badminton career of the legendary Kento Momoda.
Momoda mentioned in an interview that his decision to retire is final and without regret, as he has completed his mission with the national team. Retirement is not the end, but the beginning of a, a new chapter in his life. The passion and pursuit of Momoda to badminton will never wane. From now on, he will continue to promote the badminton sport. By sharing his enthusiasm and experience as a mentor, coach, or a speaker, ensuring his spirit endures forever. The hero will never fade. Happy retirement, Kento Momoda.